Hey guys, this is IDBX here, back for another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to custom build Tfue's 1.0 keyboard, which is his first customization, and this is going to be kind of like a short video, just showing you guys how to do this, because there's not a lot of videos out there. So, let's get right into it. Also, one more thing guys, sorry about the low quality, uh, I'm just recording this on my phone real quick. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry about that. So first things first, I'm going to be going over the parts you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is the, uh, obviously the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard right here. And this is the brown switch, the Cherry MX brown. And this is the first thing you're going to need for the keyboard, which is right here, which is the Ducky 1-2 mini. This keyboard is $99 on the Mechanical Keyboards website, which I will cut to right now. second thing you're going to need is the Horizon keycaps, which involves these keys over here and these purple keys right here and these keys over here. And this is actually a very important part of the keyboard because it takes up most of it. So I'll cut to where you can find that right now. This also includes the pink space bar, which I don't use, but Tifu does. And uh, what I'm using right now is the special Ducky One Too Many space bar, uh, the dog of the year or the wolf, I don't even know what that is. But yeah, it comes with the keyboard and that's not what Tifu uses. What Tifu uses is actually a pink space bar, which comes with the Horizon. Third and fourth thing you're gonna need is the pink rubber keycaps right here, which is the Taiho rubber keycaps and this comes in a set of 18, but I'm only using 14, so that's what Tifu uses. And then the fourth is these blank rubber yellow keycaps, which Tifu does use, or he uses the blue ones. So yeah, that's the third and fourth final things you're gonna need. Real quick, and the final thing you guys are gonna need is the Reaper escape button that Tifu uses, and I'll cut to that right now. I will link all this in the description, and real quick guys, you can find all this on mechanicalkeyboards.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped you guys out.